In this video, we will show you how Ray V20 subroutine and Advanced T20 subroutine can work together to provide a more seamless beam workflow from design to fabrication. Ray V20 subroutine is delivered with certified families and you can access the properties of a structural member with the edit type button. One of the new announcements in Ray V20 subroutine is the ability to place steel connections directly on the structural sections in your Revit model. You can download and install the Autodesk Steel Connections from your Autodesk account. The Steel Connections for Revit provide access to a variety of parametric steel connections, enabling connections to be modeled with a higher level of detail. If you want to insert a steel connection in your model, just pick the different members to be connected, then select the connections command and a list of available steel connections will appear in the pull-down list under General Connection in the Properties palette. By navigating through the different options offered in the Properties dialog box, it is easy to adjust the connection by defining a different end plate size or modifying the stiffness quantity. Changing the length of the arch will immediately affect the location of the stiffness along the beam. Here is another example with the insertion of a shear plate between the column and the other beam. Thanks to the graphical representation within the properties dialog, it's easy to go through many different possibilities and adjust the shear plate as required. To view the connection objects, for example on level 4 on this project, you can change the level detail to fine. If you want to copy this hunch connection multiple times, just pick an element from the steel connection and then use the Revit copy command by selecting the multiple option and then pick the start point and the destination port. If you display the model in 3D, you can see that the connections have been copied to the other portal frames. The copied connections remain intelligent parametric connections and you can modify them at any time with the Modify Parameters icon. It is also easy to insert a base plate at the bottom of one of the columns, make the necessary modifications in the dialog such as the base plate dimensions and the distance between anchor boards. You can also choose among different anchor board providers and choose the type of anchor shape. Copying this base plate connection can be done easily with the Revit copy command by selecting the multiple option and then picking graphically the destination points horizontally and vertically on the top view. You can easily control the visibility and graphic display of model elements such as the anchors, the balls and the plates which have been created by steel connections. You can also insert a clip angle connection between these two beams and you can validate steel connections by checking compliance with AISC or EC3 standards. You can take the loading conditions directly from robots and design the connection based on those. Or in this example, we can add our own vertical loading. You can run a check or even a precise and you can see that this is now passed. Let's have a look at the report calculation based on the use formulas. If you go to the add-ins ribbon, you can access the Advanced extension, which can be downloaded and installed from the Autodesk App Store website. Here, you can set up your preferred settings and choose exporting the read model and create an SLMX file. In Advanced, you can then import the file from Revit by pressing the import icon. 
The model, with a grid, is successfully imported, and the members are now intelligent objects, and steel connections are also successfully imported. You can easily access the steel connections properties and make any changes, such as the length of the arch and the size of the column stiffeners. Advanced is extremely powerful in terms of making modifications and changes to any structural size automatically adjust the connection size. You can display the advanced tool palette and use some automatic tools like the copy by template multiple command, which help copying the clip angle connection to different locations just in a few clicks. You can also quickly copy some floor beams and their associated steel connections with the dedicated advanced steel copy tool. And you can snap to any AutoCAD snap point as advanced steel is working on the top of AutoCAD. Once the model is completed, it's easy to export it back to Revit. After the export file is created, the Revit user can use the synchronization feature to load the file and see the differences between the Revit model and the advanced model. The different colors clearly show what has been added, modified or deleted. The Revit user has a full control of these changes and can either accept them one by one or apply all of them in one click. As a result, we get an up-to-date Revit model according to the changes made in the advanced model. Again, you can continue adjusting or modifying your Revit model by adding, deleting, or modifying any structural member or steel connection. Steel connections apply all the holes into the steel beam. You can just isolate this member and you can see that this beam is physically drilled. You can notice that this steel connection properties dialog is almost exactly the same between Revit and Advanced Steel. The structural engineer can also specify some approval status to a steel connection, and this information can be transferred to the steel detailer when exporting the Revit model to Advanced Steel. The run through process can be started again and again. Just go to the Add Ins ribbon, and with the Advanced extension, you can export the Revit model and create another SMLX file. And in Advanced Steel, you can synchronize not just the structure, but also the steel connections. The synchronization dialog provides details on what has been changed, such as the location of one of the blimps or the approval status of one of the steel connections. Once you apply this modification, you get an advanced steel model which contains up-to-date steel connections while keeping them as intelligent parenting connections. Advanced steel offers tools to number the model automatically based on user preference. You can use tools to easily filter, for instance, all the plates for the project. You can then use dedicated commands to automatically generate the NCDSTV files and the NCDXF files for these plates. Single part drawings and assembly drawings can also be generated automatically by using dedicated templates. As you can see on this assembly drawing, holes have been dimensioned and labeled automatically, and end plate views have been placed on each side of the beam, which helps support more accurate fabrication in the shop.